Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for tuning in with me today. So in today's video I am reviewing the brand new formula of the Bear Pro Foundation by Bear Minerals. I never thought that we would start off 2024 with my favorite foundation being reformulated. This foundation was released around three weeks ago so I immediately snatched it the day when it got released because I just wanted to know is this still going to be my favorite foundation? And of course, I'm going to give you the answer later in the video to that. And I really wanted this review to be an in-depth review. So I'm going to go through everything. <laughs> I'm going to be going through the claims of the new foundation. I'm going to let you know all of the differences. So we definitely are going to be comparing the old formula to the new one. I'm going to talk about the shade range. I'm going to apply it to my face. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be coming back with a wear test to see if this foundation is still as well performing as its predecessor. Like, honestly, you guys, this is an exciting one for me. And also, if you do enjoy the video and you find it helpful, why not give it a thumbs up? Subscribe to the channel if you are new on here. I would love to have you on board. And also don't forget to ring the bell in order to get notified about my upcoming videos. And also if you would like to try out this foundation or if you're curious about any of the other products that I'm wearing on my face, I'm going to be linking them all in my description box down below. Now those are going to be affiliate links, but they are generated through my partner over at Shop My Shelf. So I am not directly affiliated to Bare Minerals or to any of the other brands mentioned in today's video. None of this makeup was sent to me in PR. None of this was gifted. I purchased all of these products with my own money, but I would really appreciate it if you could shop through the links. That means a lot to me. And thank you so, so much because it's just going to support my channel. And I also just wanted to mention that this is solely my opinion on the foundation. This is solely my opinion on all of these products. You know, everyone has a different taste in makeup, but I would be really curious to know, have you ever tried out the Bare Pro foundation? Did you pick up this new formula? Let me know in the comment section down below, because I'm always really curious to hear if you are agreeing with me, if you are disagreeing with me and what your experience overall was with these products. But all right, that's pretty much everything I wanted to have mentioned for the intro. So I would say without no further ado, let's just go bareface and let's get this review rolling. All right, you guys, I am barefaced right now. So before I'm going to start chatting about the brand new Bear Pro Foundation, I just wanted to have a look back at the old formula. And I wanted to really do this in order to give you a really fully fledged review and to also be able to compare both of the formulas to each other. Because for some of you, me included, this may have been your diehard favorite foundation. I love this foundation, like this old formula was everything to me. This was the foundation that I would apply in my everyday life, the foundation that I trusted the most, and also the foundation where I feel like the performance was really spot on. It was just everything I wanted in a foundation, and I loved this product for a long, long time. Now, my journey with the Bare Pro Foundation actually started a couple of years ago, but I was always very unfortunate because I always had this foundation in the wrong shade for the longest time. And the shade mismatches were either too light for me, they had the wrong undertone, some of them were too yellow, other ones were too peachy, and I found my perfect shape match literally only last year. And ever since, I wasn't able to put this foundation down. If I would have ever made this video, which I'm still planning to do, of like my favorite foundations of all time, believe me, this would have been my number one spot, like literally. Because look, this was the foundation that I purchased last year. This is the shade True Beige. I never had a foundation that matched me 100% like that. This was the very best shade match in any of the foundations I've ever tried. This literally looked so identical to my natural skin tone. True Beige number 10 it was. And just look at that. This foundation, it's all empty. I emptied an entire bottle. I'm not sure if you can see this, but literally there is nothing coming out of here anymore. This is completely empty. Ever since I repurchased this foundation. So this is the bottle that I'm currently using. And look at that. It's down to here. I already went through more than half of this bottle. So this was everything I wanted in a foundation. So when I saw that Bare Minerals was reformulating this foundation, I was like, no. I literally had such mixed feelings about it because I was so scared because bare minerals in terms of foundations can be very much hit or miss. 
And lately, they have released a couple of very questionable formulas. <laughs> Most people did not enjoy their uh, latest, what was it, original serum foundation. I also tried their matte sort of hydrating skin tint, which was not good. I like their normal version of that. That's a really good skin tint. But when they released the matte version of this, no, that wasn't great at all. So I was worried. I, I just thought to myself like, oh no, what if, if, if this is going to be a total disaster? And rest assured, this is still available for a limited amount of time until the stock basically runs out of it. Let's just quickly talk about why I love this foundation so much so that you can kind of get a sense of, you know, where I'm coming from, you know, my preferences and why I kept on reaching for the original Bear Pro so, so much. So I'm going to show you some B-roll footage of me applying the original Bear Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation now. So first off, the texture of this foundation was very runny. It was very lightweight. As you can see in the footage, it's running down my finger. I always applied this foundation with a dampened sponge. So I'm going to show you one side that has the foundation on it, one layer of the foundation. You can immediately see how well this foundation managed to perfect my skin. It is such a beautiful sort of finish. I just love the coverage level on this. This gave me straight up like a medium sort of coverage. So here is my full face covered with one layer of the foundation. Now I actually counted how much I used and I used six pumps of this foundation to cover my entire face with. I feel like it's it's a lot, you know. <laughs> now with six pumps, I did achieve a solid medium coverage with a beautiful natural matte finish. And sometimes I did build this foundation up. Like this had like a kind of like a really good dry down because it did not dry down excessively to the point where I wasn't able to actually build the foundation up. It's kind of a flexible foundation in that sense where it really allowed me to build the foundation up. So usually I did use two additional pumps in order to just get, you know, the coverage level that I enjoy, which is a medium to full coverage. And I always felt like this foundation just blended completely into my skin. One could not tell that I was actually wearing foundation. This just looked like a second skin. So in the footage that you're about to see, I just applied a little bit of my Natasha Denona concealer on my lower eye. I use a little bit of my Sigma eye primer on my upper eyelid. It really does not necessarily require any powder, but you know, I always set down my foundations with a setting powder. So in this footage that you're seeing, I actually use the Bare Mineral Original Mineral Veal in the shade Translucent, their setting powder. And I just feel like this just looks so beautiful. I mean, the finish of this foundation was really where it's at. I like a natural to matte finish, something that does not glow excessively, something that looks not dewy. And this just looked like so good. Like I just loved it. And one thing about this foundation that I truly adored is the fact that this wore until the end of my day, especially when I used the Bare Minerals powder. I could have gone in with my Kosas Cloud Set powder and be good until the end of the day because this foundation was the foundation that got excessively oily on me. And honestly, a couple of weeks prior to them announcing that they would reformulate this product, I was about to get this foundation again. So that just says a lot. So I feel like let's actually move on to the new one. So the new one also has a little bit of a different name. So this is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro 24 Hour Wear Skin Perfecting Matte Liquid Foundation. So this one is retailing for $44, whereas this one retailed for $39. So the new foundation is $5 more expensive. They kind of raised the price level on this. You know, what can you do? So many brands are actually raising their prices. I'm not too mad about the $5, to be honest. Also on the website, they are claiming a clean, skin-improving 24-hour foundation that provides an undetectable, full coverage matte finish and ultra comfort wear. Bare Pro 24 hour wear liquid foundation is a unique formula saturated with skin tone mimicking pigments, oil absorbing minerals and skin loving ingredients to provide breathable, undetectable, stay true coverage, 24 hour matte wear. So the foundation is also non comedogenic. It's vegan, a cyclic silicone free, fragrance free, chemical screen free, oil free, which I do really appreciate. 
and it's gluten-free. So personally, I was very curious when it came to the new ingredient list. I really wanted to compare both of the ingredients list together and see what have they actually changed about this foundation. And there are a couple of major things that they have changed about this formula. And to be honest, I feel like they have changed this formula completely. So I'm going to like show you screenshots of the old formulation, the old ingredient list on the Bear Pro and the new formula. So if you want to, you can actually pause the video right here and read the entire ingredient list if that's your jam. Now, both of these have an SPF of 20 but they used a different mineral ingredient. The old version, this one, contained titanium dioxide at 3.32%. The new formula actually contains zinc oxide at 6.2%. Now, I definitely do prefer zinc oxide over titanium dioxide. However, just be reminded, in order to really protect your skin against UVA and UVB rays, just always like wear an additional sunscreen under any foundation that has a sunscreen mixed into it. So the main ingredient in this foundation still has not changed. This is still a water-based foundation, but the second ingredient of this has definitely changed because they are now claiming that this foundation, the new one, is completely cyclic silicone free. Whereas the second ingredient in the old formula was the cyclopentaxyloxane. And that is kind of like a silicone that is in a lot of foundations, to be honest. So just know that the new formula is not silicone free. It's just cyclic silicone free. So the second ingredient of this foundation is dimethicone. And honestly, there are quite a lot of different dimethicones in this product. So this foundation does heavily rely on silicones, which personally, again, I don't mind. This one contains alcohol. It's quite thorough, it's the end of the ingredient list, but still, they've put alcohol in this foundation, whereas this foundation did not have alcohol in it. I mean, I understand it at a certain kind of percentage, it's not really gonna do anything if you have a hydrating skincare routine, you know, it's not gonna be drying out your skin or anything like that. So another claim that they made on this new formulation is that it's formulated with brightening upcycled pomegranate peel extract and mineral-based powders to even skin tone. The old formula definitely had silica much higher up in the ingredient list than it has now. Now it's towards the end, so I would say the silica is capped at a very low percentage in this formula these days. They have removed the papaya enzymes, the purpane, and they also removed the bamboo stem extract. So this does not include any of those anymore. But all right, I really hope that clarified a little bit the difference in between the formulations. So let's actually move on and let's talk a little bit about the shade range because they definitely have changed the shade range. They have improved their shade range and they have added more shade selection, which is always like really refreshing to hear if a brand actually adds some shades, you know. That's a lot better than taking shades away when it comes to a reformulated product. However, I still have a bone to pick with this new shade range. So let's quickly talk about the old shade range. Now this old foundation came in 35 shades. As I told you, the shade range was a little bit weird. The description was slightly bizarre and you know, it took me a couple of bottles until I was able to find my perfect shape match. However, this is the best shape match in a foundation ever for my skin tone. I had this in the shade Cool Beige. Did I say True Beige earlier? This is called Cool Beige. Number 10. That was my perfect shade. So the shade Cool Beige Tan was always described for medium cool skin with a pink hue. So this shade range was leaning very, very light. So usually I'm a light or a light to medium. Just the fact that I had to use a medium shade just says a lot and look at that. This is not really like a medium shade. In my opinion, this is a light to medium shade, really or even like a light shade. I don't even think it's a light to medium necessarily. This was always more on the light side, but they had described this as a medium shade. So I was a little bit worried when I realized that the shade names were different. Like this was not called number 10 anymore. This wasn't called cool beige anymore. They changed all of that. So I was just like, how am I supposed to find this exact shape match, you know, because I wanted this shade in particular. I really wanted that same shade that I had because it was a perfect match. So what I did was, and this is where I have a bone to pick, 
I went on their website and I used their shade matcher, you know, the thing where you can find a shade. And I selected the old Bare Minerals Pro Performance Wear Foundation in the shade Cool Beige and this shade matching software advised me to pick up the shade Light Cool 25, like number 25. So I had a look at the description before I purchased it and it said for light cool skin with a pink hue. And I thought, okay, that's probably me. This is going to work. This is going to be the exact same shade. Oh no, it's not. I should have really picked up the shade Light 21 Cool and that is described for very light cool skin with a pink hue. So I still have the Light 25 Cool. This honestly, this is a summer shade for me. This is going to look a little bit deeper and I'm going to show you swatches of the Tan Cool Beige against the light 25 cool shade now like please tell me that you're seeing the same thing the cool beige was lighter than what they matched me on their website with which is just a little bit like annoying okay you guys like i mean this is always going to be the foundation that gives me a bunch of shape mismatches now it's not a complete shape mismatch okay the undertone is perfect I just feel like this is going to be perfect for the summertime. I mean, this is available in 40 shades. I do appreciate, though, that they made the description a little bit more accurate, you know, than on their previous old formula and that they have added some shades. I still feel like they could definitely improve a little bit when it comes to their deeper shades. There aren't that many variations when it comes to like the very deep skin tones. So I feel like they still could like do a little bit better with that and yeah i would say i'm gonna zoom you guys a little bit in so that you can see my face a little bit closer and we are going to be moving on straight to the application i'm going to share my feelings and thoughts on this new formula with you all right i am zoomed in so you can see everything up close but right before we are starting to apply the foundation i do want to apply a primer now one thing that i've realized when it comes to primers that work with this foundation is that i would not really necessarily advise you to use this primer by Bare Minerals. This is the Primetime Original Pore Minimizing Primer. I actually like this primer, but I feel like it's not really like good combining it with this foundation because it's really not gonna like minimize your pores with this formula. This always worked with the old formula like really, really well, but I feel like with the new one, I was so disappointed. I was like, wait, what? I just saw my pores so enhanced with this primer in particular and I don't know why that is I have no idea I feel like these products should be working together but no this did not work one bit so what I would advise you and I know this is a little bit more of a pricier primer but it's so good it's my favorite hourglass vanish primer this primer in combination with this new formula stunning absolutely amazing I freaking love this primer this primer it's just some magic like it's blurring it's pore filling it's also going to mattify my face a little bit like my skin is not necessarily oily 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 like it's not oily to an extreme what you are seeing right here is just the glow from my gel moisturizer that i always apply before i'm putting on any makeup but in general my skin does get a little bit oilier throughout my t-zone here it is it's like a nice fluffy sort of like gel consistency so so good and also right in time for this foundation review i got a really nice visitor on my chin it's <sighs> so annoying i mean my chin is always just my problem area and you know my skin was doing so 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 well i mean my chin was healing off and everything and then the other day I was like, wait, why am I getting like acne right before I'm trying to film? I don't know why that is. It always happens when I'm doing a foundation review, which on the other hand kind of comes in handy. So you guys can see if a foundation is actually covering up the redness or not. This is healing off now. I did put on like one of these overnight hydroquilloin patches and my gosh was that effective i feel like it has already shrunk to half of its size because this was this was a nasty one i really don't like it but just look at this primer this primer is so good i freaking love this primer i mean i'm going to link it in my description box down below just in case you're interested yeah i'm going to be shaking this 
foundation up a little bit before I'm applying it. So one difference that I realized immediately was the fact that this has a different consistency, a different texture than its predecessor. This is literally a little bit creamier, a little bit more dense in texture. It's still kind of like lightweight, but it's not as runny anymore. It's gonna run, but it's not running as quickly, you know? So I took two pumps now and I'm just gonna apply a little bit on this side first. So let's do one side of my face first. So I'm blending it out with a beauty sponge. This is a dampened one, but just look at that. Now, if that is not like a full, full coverage straight away, I don't know what is. Like this is honestly one of the main differences that I've realized straight away is I don't need as much product anymore because the coverage level on this is actually higher than with the old formula. This is gonna give you so much more coverage straight away. I mean, I love this. Just look at how blurred my skin looks and how perfected. And also this shade, just in terms of undertone, it's really good. This definitely has more of a neutral, leaning, cool undertone. I feel like the shade is almost perfect. This is going to be perfect in the summertime. I mean, this blended out seamlessly and the way that this sits on the skin is a little bit different than with the old formula. I honestly felt like that with the old formula, it was like drying a little bit quicker than it is now. It's still very weightless, but I can feel it a little bit more on my skin than the old formula. It's also because of the texture. You know, it's not quite as runny anymore as it used to be. What can I say? It is good. It's just very, very beautiful. So I'm going to take another two pumps and these are small pumps, you know, they're not even like full pumps. And yeah, let's uh, do the problem side. Can't wait to actually cover this nightmare on my chin up <laughs> so let's do that i mean are you joking this is so good this has such great coverage it looks so skin perfecting so blurring and although this is a matte finish you know it's so naturally matte it is not a cakey, dry, texture-enhancing foundation. None of that. I feel like this makes your skin so smooth. It still reflects the light a little bit. It's definitely not a flat matte finish. It, it's just such a natural matte finish. And that's what I really do adore about a foundation. And I think this is so good. And you know what? I just used four pumps for my entire face. With the old formula, I was using eight pumps in total. So I'm not even mad that they raised up the price point because now I'm not gonna be finishing the foundation so quickly anymore. You know, not that I was finishing it quickly. I mean, it did take me some time to finish up with the old foundation, don't be fooled. It wasn't like empty in no time, but um, this is gonna probably last me for a longer time than the old one just because of the coverage level. Honestly, I am relieved that this foundation looks so great on my skin because otherwise I would have been so disappointed. So disappointed. So what I'm going to be doing off camera now is I'm going to be applying the Natasha Denona concealer just a little bit underneath my eyes and then I'm going to be proceeding with my Sigma eyeshadow base primer. I'm going to be applying those and then I'm going to powder the foundation down and I'm going to show that to you because I really want you guys to see how uh, the foundation you know, behaves with powder, how this face is gonna look when it's powdered down, when it's all set into place. All right, so I'm back. I just basically put an Natasha Denona concealer underneath my eyes just a little bit, and then my Sigma eye primer on my upper lid. So let's actually powder this face down. And I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. This is the shade Translucent. Oh my gosh, this powder is so amazing, especially if you are struggling with foundations that do get a little bit oilier throughout the day on you, or if you have like a little bit of oilier skin, my gosh, is this good. This is so fantastic. I don't know, where was this all my life? I basically picked up this powder when I picked up the foundation because I really wanted to try both of them combined together. I mean, I really want to do like a full phase of Bare Minerals. Should I be doing that? Because I got enough products to actually be doing that. So today is just going to be the foundation, but maybe we should really do that. I'm going to be applying this powder 
uh, on one side of my face first. I'm gonna apply it onto my concealer first. And honestly, it works so well with my concealer, puts everything into place. Just don't go ham with this. This is one thing I came to realize is you don't need that much powder. This is so strong and it's so beautiful. It is such a good formula. I really, really love this powder, you know. Okay, so let's set one half of my face first. This side now is all set. This is completely blurred. I mean, this is not shining anymore whatsoever. It has a little bit still of a natural reflect, but very minimal compared to this side. I mean, I feel like the powder is definitely doing something, something that I like, which is like mattifying it. You know, this mattifies the foundation so, so well. This also does exist in some shades. I just chose the translucent one. I heard some people saying this would give you a white cast, but honestly, it does not give me a white cast. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side of my face as well. But all right, my face is completely powdered down now. I love it. I love the finish of it. So what I'm gonna be doing next is I'm gonna be finishing off my look. That's basically the look you are going to see in my intro of the video. And I'm gonna try and keep this foundation on for as long as possible. I'm gonna try and wear this foundation for at least eight hours. But yeah, you're probably gonna see me by the time I'm ready to hit the hay. All right, you guys, I am back. I am so ready to hit the hay. I'm actually really, really tired. It is... Yeah, it is one o'clock right now, so I have been wearing this foundation for nearly 12 hours. When I applied the foundation, it was like 20 past one. Yeah, so it's been nearly 12 hours since this has been on my face. So I'm just going to have a look into the mirror. I always get a little bit oilier throughout my T-zone, but just keep in mind I have not touched this foundation up in 12 hours. So I did not add any powder. I did not use setting spray. And this foundation has just not broken up anywhere. It just got a little bit shiny around here, maybe a little bit shiny on my forehead, but to no extent really. We have seen foundation wear tests that were far, far, far worse. So I do feel like this foundation is performing so so well like this looks amazing considering that this has been on my skin for 12 hours and at some point you know I completely forgot that I was doing a wear test and I touched my face I was like eating I was moving I was outside you know so I cannot wrap my head around the fact that this still looks so good it looks really, really amazing. And I do contribute that to the fact that I've used this primer in combination with the setting powder. I feel like both of them are so efficient. This is really beautiful for my skin, at least, you know, because I know I can get a little bit oilier throughout the T-zone and my makeup might break apart after like, what, five to six hours. And then it might look terrible. It might come off my face. This still looks amazing. I never thought that this would be possible, that I would actually maybe even prefer the new formula over the old formula. Just because of the fact that this is really not moving, the coverage is still there. I mean, the coverage is amazing. And I truly, truly love this. I love how this is performing. I love how this is wearing. I think you get the gist. I freaking love this foundation. And if I would slightly touch my face up now with powder, it would be looking great again. And I would not have to reapply everything. Bare Minerals, you have cracked a coat with this. And this is definitely a new favorite of mine. It is so, so good because, I mean, I hope this all speaks for itself. You are going to hear a lot more about this foundation on my channel, most definitely, because, I mean all-time favorite okay so yeah this reformulation is just top-notch please do let me know if you are planning on uh, purchasing this product do you want to try this one out or not to drop me a comment down below and also if you found this review helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up 
hit the subscribe button and also ring the bell in order to stay notified. And until the next time, please do take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.